Hi everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. I'm down here in my uh, wee art studio space. A slightly different video for you today. Um, I just really wanted to put the finishing, finishing touches on the Kuxa, um, which is the reason that I've come down to the studio because uh, my Dremel tool is here and I want to use that to, just to do a wee final sanding on it. Um, yeah, it might be cheating, I don't know, but anyway, um, thanks for joining me. If this isn't your cup of tea, don't worry, I won't be offended either. Let's get cracking, guys. <clears throat> well, this isn't actually a real Dremel, um, it is a fake one that I bought from Lidl, but yeah, it does the job for me perfectly well. Um, I do hope this works. It is really just a wee light sand it needs here and there. And I've also got some kind of good quality silicone glue that I'm going to use to make sure those wee holes are patched. There we go, ready to rock it. Um, this is quite noisy, so I will turn the audio off because um, as you'll hear, you probably don't want to hear that, so I will make sure the audio's off and I'll put some music over it for you. You'll also hear some music in the background. Um, that's because the studio, um, it's in a big warehouse. There's lots of different um, studios in here. Um, and the one next door to us is a karate dojo and they always play really, really loud music that they must use for their routines or whatever, but it's always really, really loud. So, um, yeah, you'll probably hear that in the background as well, guys. Anyway, let's get on with this and hope it works. Well, the glue is dry um, and I've decided that I am going to wash it um, just to try and, uh, you know, clean up some of the bits uh, around about here. I don't know. I, it just feels like it looks a bit dirty. So um, I'm going to give it a wee wash um, and then let it dry out and then I'll, I'll give it a wee coat of oil on the outside um, and the inside. It is... Uh, food grade um, rapeseed oil that I'm going to use so that won't be a problem. I know it says fuel on there but it's not fuel, it's rapeseed oil. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, give it a wee wash and let it dry for a while. Also when I'm washing it then I will be able to test whether or not it's actually going to hold water. So um, I'll come back in a minute. So guys, well Here's what happened. I've washed it so it's nice. It's, you know, it's looking all nice and clean and I really liked um, how the colour looked uh, when, you know, obviously when it had that um, that water in it. Um, the wood grain looked great. So, yeah, the slight problem is it is definitely, definitely leaking <laughs> where those wee you know thin bits of wood are even though i've tried to seal them so i'm going to do a couple of things i've just been getting on with some other wee projects while it's been drying out um i am going to definitely oil it 
and uh, let that soak into the wood. Um, because as you can see, the wood grain just comes up absolutely beautiful um, when it's oiled. So I'm just going to rub this all over it. Let's get a generous, generous layer of oil all over. As I said, this is um, food grade. It's uh, grapeseed oil, so it's um, it is organic grapeseed oil as well. So it's perfectly harmless, perfectly non-toxic. So it's absolutely perfect for this cook, sir. So I've got a real, real generous oiling, as you can see. Set that there for a minute. That's it. So I'm going to let this soak in for a wee bit, just to let that oil soak into the wood. And then what I am going to do, and I know it's probably cheating, um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it. Um, I'm going to coat the outside with a matte um, waterproof adhesive finisher thing. I have it in my craft room anyway, because it's I use it a lot for my paper crafts. Um, it's a water-based sealer glue and finish. It's called Mod Podge big in the grafting world um, and actually it'll be perfect for finishing the outside of the cooksa because hopefully that will fully seal it um, and make it fully waterproof and um, because now that I've got to this stage um, you know it's taken me the best part of a year to finish this project <laughs> um, and it has been lovingly hand carved as you all know um, when I tested it in the kitchen area or the toilet area when I was um, washing it uh, I was quite impressed with the volume of liquid that it held you know it's definitely enough for a nice you know just a cup size but enough for a cup size cup of coffee um, so yeah really pleased with how it's turned out um, and I'm just going to resolve that one tiny final issue with the waterproofing um, so I'll let that I'll let that um, oil soak in. I'm not obviously going to seal the inside because I don't think this would be suitable for the inside. Um, I mean, it does say it's non-toxic, but anyway, I'm still not going to seal the inside. I'm only going to seal the outside um, and the inside will just have that, um, you know, that, that oil in it, which, you know, hopefully will soak in over time as well. So I'll bring you back uh, when I'm going to seal it, guys. I'm just going to let that dry for a bit. Okay, so I let that soak in for a wee bit and did a few more projects. So um, I'm just going to start covering it with the Mod Podge now. Um, this is quite sticky. It is a glue. It's not a silicon based glue like the other one, so it is non-toxic, but it does act as a sealant, um, a waterproof sealant. So, fingers crossed. 
Um, I'm going to do this top bit first and then I'll turn it over. Um, I wonder, I might get my other brush. <clears throat> just get my other brush for this front bit because I don't want any to go in there so I do want to be quite careful This is a satin finish, so, so it won't be like a varnish, you know, it won't be totally shiny, but it, it, it hopefully will give it a wee bit of shine. Which would make it look nice, hopefully. So yeah, I know this is a slightly different video from a normal routine. Um, I'm not out in the woods today building a shelter. The rain's been quite bad recently, which is good for the rivers and the reservoirs and the lochs um, because, you know, they have been quite dry recently. We haven't had a lot of rain, which is really, really unusual for Scotland. <laughs> but anyway. So, today I just wanted to come down to the studio and get this wee final piece of finishing touch done on the cookser. I mean, I don't know what other people use when they're sealing these things in, um, but I'm just using what I have, so... I don't know whether you think it's right, it's wrong, I don't know. But I'm not... not using this because it's leaking. I have to get it waterproof so that I can use it after all the work I put into it. I'm just really excited for it to be finished. And then I think I will definitely take it out into the woods for its first inaugural coffee. <laughs> or tea. I don't drink black tea, I only drink herbal tea. I don't like black tea. Never have, never will. Now, one thing I can see is, as I'm doing this, um, this is a, a, you know, this dries completely clear, but I've never tried it on wood before. I probably should have tried it, first of all, on a test piece, just to make sure that it was going to dry clear. Um, I'm sure it will. If it doesn't, then it won't be completely ruined because... I could always um, sand it down again to get back to, you know, some some actual wood. So it wouldn't be a complete disaster. It would just be a huge inconvenience. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Certainly a first coat anyway, maybe I'll need to do another coat, I don't know. I'm just hoping that works and that helps seal it in. So <clears throat> I'm going to let that dry for quite a while. Um, it does take quite a while to dry and um, I'll just get on with a couple of other wee projects while I'm here. 
and um, yeah if I'm still here when it dries I'll bring you back um, otherwise I'll uh, film that later on and show you it finished well guys that's it finally finished I just it looks really really nice all that wood grain even that bit where it was you know diseased wood just really pleased with it and the Mod Podge seems to have worked it seems to be waterproof um, I did have that wee lanyard that I had made but um, it's a bit too thick for the hole so um, I'll need to rethink that uh, it will go in single but it won't go in doubled up so I could always cut it I suppose but anyway I'll figure that out um, don't really need the lanyard on it but yeah it's good if I want to hang it on my bag or whatever well there we go that's it guys finally finally finished the cooksa so I hope to see you again soon for the first coffee well that's me guys thanks again for tuning in I hope you liked this video. I know it was slightly different from my normal. I really appreciate all your views and comments. Really appreciate all your subscriptions, old and new. Do check out my uh, subscriber giveaway video. It's a few videos back now. Um, once I get to magic 500 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway of a really fantastic one man stealth tent. Never been used, only used once great condition perfect for the the hiker or the backpacker so do give that video a wee look if this is the first time you're watching my channel i hope you like it give me the thumbs up click subscribe i'm just an urban girl in here having a bit of fun